horse cock. Why are you driving an Oracle? Because I made it a good car. It's got everything it needs now to not suck. It's got ground clearance. A little more torque. A lot more downforce. I had to trip. I almost tripled the downforce value. But she's planted now. Let her rip. Power. Oh, man. This car drives nice now. So what exactly have we done to this Oracle to make it a good car? Well, first you need to find a parking lot. A lot of these things you only notice. Oh, okay, this isn't a parking lot, but this this will have to do. The biggest, by far, the ground clearance. I know it doesn't look like it's got a lot more, but it does. Before, you wouldn't be able to see any gap between the top of the tire and the bottom of the wheel arch. The car actually has about as much ground clearance as... I want to say Crown Victoria, maybe? It's got a lot of ground clearance in the back, but where it really needed it was the front. I turned down the deformation values just a little bit. I think I dropped it by 0.1. Obviously, the wheels, because they're pushed out really far, they do take damage, especially if you hit a corner, like over here. If you hit it there, you're, you're definitely going to take wheel damage, but they're not going to completely jam in one hit. It's going to take two to three, depending on the angle and the speed of the impact. Obviously, switched engine sounds and vehicles at the IDE. Much better. More torque, you'll see. Puts it down pretty good, just like the shafter. That I, I mean, obviously, I didn't base it on the shafter, but I, I wanted this to feel like a fat shafter, so I added weight. Obviously, durability, ground clearance. Obviously, the brakes are a little bit tighter as well. The pedal travel is a little bit shorter. But, I mean, from a dead heat, it's not that quick. It's it's one of those, you got to get it moving a little bit. I mean, it still pulls. And it's, eh, that, I don't know if that was really understeer or oversteer. I think that was just a little bit of wheel spin on corner. Actually, let me try a little, a little more wider. Yeah, see, it just it just tucks and goes. Now, obviously, it's not going to outhandle a Bullet GT. It's not going to outhandle a Comet. And it's not going to outhandle a Civilian Buffalo, either. But it's, it's a lot better. I'm very happy with it. Now, obviously, this is only part of the test. You're like, oh, horsecock, you've only shown how it does on mostly flat tarmac and open space as well. Let's see how she does in some closed spaces. Let's wind it out first, though. This is what I think the Oracle should have been. It should be a viable alternative to other cars in the game. Now, obviously, it doesn't need to be extra large, like a Cognoscenti, but... It, it, this, this I almost think is going to be somewhere in between because it's not as quick and as agile as a civilian buffalo but it's certainly more maneuverable than the Cognoscenti but it doesn't have that really good resistance to collisions and gunfire obviously it's, it's decent like I said I turned some of the deformation value down but the Cognoscenti is still going to hold up a lot, a lot better in those extreme situations now let's, let's, let's try what is an area that has a lot of vertical obstacles I know, let's go over here. No wheel damage. I mean, that... Yeah, all, all that did, it just nicked the little bottom of the bumper cover. It didn't do... I bet you I could almost climb the staircase. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you try doing that with a stock, Oracle. You'll get stuck, or you'll break something. Let's try a little different one. Let's do one and then another. Uh-huh. That's what ground clearance is. I didn't do anything to the spring rates. That was my fault. That's because I didn't realize the collision file for this bridge. You'll see what I mean. You think, oh, I can drive under here. Oops. No, you can't. Obviously, I mean, for as much wheel spin as this car has, it's never, it never feels loose. It always feels like it's mostly composed in there, obviously, without being, we'll say, overpowered or unrealistic. I mean, it's, it's just a good car. I know there's a couple really crazy bumps over here. If I kind of cut a corner, yeah, kind of like this. 
See, whereas before, hitting any of those would be a very risky affair with the Oracle. Now, I can carry a lot more average speed through a section. Let's try a couple other ones here. I mean, that, that's the thing I'm trying to do as well. I'm not just hitting them square, I'm hitting them at kind of at weird angles, different speeds. That's really how you gauge if a vehicle is good at handling these bumps. You want to test them under as many different conditions as you can. Oh, this one. Uh, I might not have enough speed. Let's see. Uh, I didn't. Okay, whatever. Because I, because I have downforce, now the car can actually not get flipped over. I mean, obviously, if, if, you're, if you drive it like a moron, you're, you're going to get it flipped over no matter what you do. But it, it's just a, a really good driving car now. Now, obviously, it's still a huge target, and it's still kind of slow. But it's very drivable now, and it, it, it's a great addition, so... We'll do, we're going to do some getaways with her and see how she do.